Do you have a blog and are you thinking of switching niches? I know I am. Today's video is about why you should switch your blog niche, why you shouldn't, and how to switch from one niche to another. Before we get into it, I'm Jojo LaBeouf, a formal travel blogger who has now switched into the blogging and work from home niche. So I'm making this video because my blog is undergoing a huge change. I searched online for some help on how to go about changing niches and haven't found much content on it. So I decided to share my thoughts in hopes that it would make things clearer for others too. So here are seven reasons why you should and shouldn't change your niche. Number one, your niche was about your lifestyle and your lifestyle changed. For many bloggers, their blogs are based on their lifestyles. So what happens when your lifestyle makes a huge detour? Should you blog about your new lifestyle instead? Should you continue to blog about your old one? Should you blog about both? This can be a hard decision, especially when you've grown your audience over some time already. So to help you make your decision, I recommend asking yourself this one question. Five years from now, you're looking back at your blog post that has helped thousands of people around the world. What is it about? This question is to basically let your future decide your choice today. And if you've already gained the trust of your audience, don't worry about them. They will continue to follow you no matter what niche. And that's the beauty of blogging. It's fluid enough to evolve as you go through different stages of your life. And this was the case for me. My lifestyle has changed over the last two years. My blog is about three years old. I transformed into a work from home life from a digital nomad and travel life. Reason number two, you realized it's not the best niche for you to help people in. When I was in college, my mentor once told me, no one knows what they want to do for the rest of their life when they go to college. What you study in college doesn't matter. What matters most in college are the skills you learn. Studying, working hard, working with others, and being a leader. Because once you find out what you really want to do later in your life, it won't be hard to pursue it because you already have the necessary skills to succeed in it. For a lot of people, what they major in college has nothing to do with the career they end up choosing, and that's okay. Just like how the first niche you chose to blog about won't be your last, and that's okay too. I really enjoyed creating travel content and I still do. I will get so many messages and emails from readers about how much I've inspired them to travel solo. But it's interesting because not only did I inspire them to travel, but I also inspired them to blog. I didn't share blogging tips, but I did share a lot of the behind the scenes and that sparked a lot of interest and I noticed I was helping more people blog than travel. I actually enjoyed helping them blog more than helping them travel. That's when I realized this niche wasn't the best niche for me, but it was the perfect stepping stone. And this year, I plan on launching products about blogging. So from a business point of view, it doesn't make sense for me to create content about one niche and then create a product that's not related to it at all. I've also tried creating content about both niches and got so overwhelmed that I got burnt out and stopped. So I knew that didn't work for me. And I highly recommend that you choose one niche, not two. Reason number three, it doesn't align with who you are and who you want to be in the next five years. What we do today will affect where we'll be tomorrow. So if your blog doesn't align with the goals in the next few years, it's time to change it. I have this really amazing newspaper article written about me on my wall and it's a huge milestone for me and I'm really proud of it. But I just couldn't get over seeing travel blogger in large text. The thought of being known as a travel blogger or a travel expert didn't light me up anymore. And in the next five years, that's not who I want to be known as. But I do know I want to be known as an expert in something. So asking myself that same question, five years from now, what are my blog posts about that has helped thousands of people? For me, it's helping people become fully self-expressed and teaching them one way of doing it, which is blogging and letting them know they have a voice that's worthy of listening to. And the travel niche didn't align with that, so that gave me a reason to switch. Reason number four, it doesn't make you happy and it's not your passion anymore. A lot of the time when we start a blog, it's because we want to talk about something we're passionate about. Life is short and I would hate for you to blog about a niche you're not absolutely excited about. Especially if your plan is to turn your blog into a business. Pursuing your passion and talking about it makes you happy. And being happy makes the journey of business and entrepreneurship that much more enjoyable. The truth is, you're not always going to love the process of blogging. 
Sometimes you'll publish a post that bombed or launch a product that no one bought. And the only thing that's going to keep you going is your passion. And without it, you're that much more likely to quit. All right, now here are three reasons why you should not change your blog niche. Reason number one, it's too crowded and it's too hard to stand out. If this is your reason, guess what? You are in luck. A crowded niche means it's popular, meaning there's a high demand for it. No matter how many blogs there are in your niche, there will always be people searching for advice and tips about it. How you make yourself stand out is with your personality and consistently showing up with helpful content. Reason number two, it's too small and there aren't enough people interested in it. There is no niche that's too small or too niche to blog about. I've even heard of chinchilla blogs succeeding and making money. There are people out there with the same interests as you, but you won't attract these people until you start blogging about it. And because it's a smaller niche, you can easily set yourself apart from the crowd. Reason number three, you're not an expert. Well, if you know more than a beginner in your niche, then you know more than enough. The reason for this is because most people online are searching for beginner tips and asking beginner questions. So as long as you know more than beginners in your niche, then you know enough to create content about it. Also, you're much more relatable when your readers find out you're only a few steps ahead of them. They know they can easily achieve what you teach them because you did it yourself without being an expert. And also, don't underestimate what you know. You'll actually find it surprising that your readers aren't as knowledgeable as you are. And that's why they ended up on your blog to learn. All right, so how to switch your blog niche. First, you wanna to get to the source of why you're switching in the first place. Are you switching because you feel like it or because it's not your passion anymore? Take your time to get to the source. It took me an entire year to reach my decision because I wanted to make sure I was actually committed to it. After that, the next thing you want to do is communicate with your audience. Tell your audience the changes that's going to happen to your blog and why. Let them know you'd love for them to continue along your journey. And also let them know that it's okay to unsubscribe if they're not interested. You want to make sure you're providing your audience content that's useful to them. And you also wouldn't want them to hang on if it really serves them no purpose. And don't worry about your subscriber count going lower because it's gonna come back again. After that, the next thing you wanna do is rethink your brand and vision of your blog. Go back to the drawing board and rethink your core values as well as your mission and vision statements. Update your ideal reader profile and re-strategize your content to fit with your new goals. Next up, if you're doing a complete rebrand, you might want to rethink the design of your website, logo, and your tagline. Does what you have currently on your blog still serve the purpose of your new brand? If it doesn't, go ahead and make the changes. After that, you'll want to update your social media presences. So do your profile picture, your bios, and descriptions represent your new vision? If not, then update that as well. And last, as you go through these changes and start creating content in your new niche, understand that it can take years to completely pivot your blog. Depending on how far you've blogged into your first niche, it may take a while for your audience to adjust to it. When I first made this decision, I thought it would take only a few months to switch niches and for my audience to adjust to it. But I'm learning that it's actually going to take a few years instead. I understand that not all my subscribers will continue to follow me because they have no interest in blogging and working from home. And that's okay. I understand that my subscribers will drop and it could take a few years for my audience to get back to the point it once was. I recently cleaned up my email list of 5,000 people and it went down to 3,000. It took years to reach 5,000 subscribers, but with 3,000 people, my open rate and my click rate went straight up. So even though I lost 2,000 people, my audience became much more loyal and interested in what I had to say. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope I gave you some insights on why you should and shouldn't switch your niche. And if you ever decide to, how to switch niches. I know this process can be a little bit scary, just like when you first started your blog, but just continue to trust the process. This is how the journey looks like. And if you're scared, but it excites you and you know it's your calling, make the switch. Thank you for watching. I'm Joja LaBeouf and I now help women grow their blogs and work from home. I'm super excited for this change and I have a lot of amazing content coming up for you. So if you have any questions about switching your niches or in blogging and working from home in general, I've got a Facebook group that you can join and ask me your questions over there. You'll also get to connect with like-minded bloggers like you and ask them for feedback on your blog journey as well. The link to the Facebook group is down in the description box. I'll see you there and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.